Proof of Stake has the potential to address some of crypto's most glaring shortcomings. But first, let's take a step back. To get a grasp on Proof of Stake, you need to understand consensus algorithms. Consensus is a big deal in blockchain. In fact, it serves as the entire backbone of the technology. In traditional centralized systems like banks, a single authority controls the system. They give the consensus for any transaction. They make changes however they see fit and determine how things are done without the consent of their customers. DeFi changes the rules around consensus so that it's decentralized. However, this raises the issue that a stranger is the tentpole of validation for a transaction that could potentially be worth millions. So how is that legitimately done so that people can put faith in the system? This is where a consensus system comes in. The mechanism for consensus within crypto has traditionally been a system called proof of work. This is a competitive validation method to confirm transactions, add new blocks to the blockchain, and ta-da, new coins are minted. It's basically the crypto miner ensuring the verifier that the mining process is valid and accurate. The problem is it requires special equipment and a great deal of energy to work, which has raised environmental concerns coupled with having inbuilt limitations. We've done a whole video on proof of work, so if you want to learn more about it, please check out that video. Ethereum 2.0 is an upgrade to the Ethereum blockchain that was completed in September of 2022. In order to increase Ethereum's capacity for transactions, reduce fees, and make the network more sustainable. It managed this by moving to a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism, which is largely considered a significant upgrade in many regards over its counterpart, proof-of-work. So what is proof-of-stake? Essentially, this is a consensus algorithm in which randomly chosen validators stake native tokens to the blockchain network that they're operating on to propose or test new blocks to the current blockchain. Plainly speaking, proof of stake dips into the community of users for a certain token, choosing them to be validators of a transaction. Those that are chosen will be able to earn from the transaction fee. The more you have or higher the stake, the larger the chance you'll be chosen as a validator. The simplest way to put it is that proof of stake has computers working together to decide which computer or node validates the next block. It's estimated that Ethereum 2.0, or Ethereum's merge as it's also called, has cut the energy consumption by 99.84%. To put that into perspective, the amount of energy saved by Ethereum following its shift is comparable to the energy used by whole countries. While all that sounds great, it's not a perfect system. Proof of Stake does have some shortcomings. Proof of Stake works particularly well with larger blockchains and its native tokens, since there's a less chance of monopolization by large stakeholders. Known as a 51% attack, it's pretty common for investors to accumulate 51% stakes in burgeoning blockchains and their tokens. This gives them 100% of the control based on the proof of stake voting system, which heavily favors those with quantity. The more common issue arising is that an individual needs to own cryptocurrencies native to that particular proof of stake based platform. This can be done by either purchasing cryptocurrencies with fiat currency or exchange crypto from other platforms to the compatible native cryptocurrencies. This means that a blockchain built on proof of stake consensus mechanics isn't readily accessible as it stands. However, the most important thing to remember about proof of stake is that it solves one of the big problems that has historically kept people from embracing blockchain and crypto, energy consumption. Proof of stake essentially fixes that by being more compliant and inclusive as a mechanism for transaction authentication, meaning no special power hungry equipment is needed. Between this and our proof of work video, hopefully you'll have a good grasp on how transaction authentication in crypto works. I hope you enjoyed this video on proof of stake. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.